guys welcome back so of course you know that today we are learning how to make animated gift stickers for Instagram so this is probably the most asked question that I get ever in the world so many people DM me and ask me how did you do that how did you get your stuff on Instagram and it's just really hard to explain in like a text or a DM or even in person without showing you how to do it. So that's what this video is for. I'm going to show you step by step because when I made my gift stickers it took a long time just because there's almost no information out there on how to do it. So I'm going to show you guys first of all how to illustrate them and then how to animate them, like make them move, you know, like a GIF. And finally, how to get them on Giphy, and especially how to get them on Instagram and Snapchat so that you can use them and everyone else can use them too. I have loved making GIF stickers. It is so much fun, you guys, like you don't even know. And it's also pretty easy. People seem to think it's super complicated, which I mean, I guess it is in a way, but once you know how to do it, you'll have it done in no time. So I love to add new GIF stickers all the time which is super fun and oh by the way you can find all my gift stickers by searching Makayla in the little search bar when you're searching for different gifts just search Makayla and all my gifts will come up and I'm always adding new ones because like I said it's super easy so you can look at those and anyways let's get started okay so first of all I just wanted to start off by showing you guys my gifts so you can get an idea of what kind of gifts I make and what they look like and I also wanted to explain the difference between gift stickers and then just regular gifts so these are gift stickers and gift stickers all have transparent backgrounds as you can see it's just like this flower with no background around it so this would be a regular gift because it has a background now that you know the difference we're gonna get started by actually making the gift because that's the first thing you need to do before you even worry about Giphy, which is where you're going to upload all your gifts to get them onto Instagram. Okay, so let's start by designing your GIF. I'm going to demonstrate by designing this little twinkle GIF that I think is really cute because I love using twinkle GIFs. <laughs> they always just make everything look so much prettier. I always use the pen tool in Illustrator. I use Illustrator to illustrate all of my GIFs. You can use different programs, but I personally think Illustrator is by far the best one. So I just always use the pen tool to make these little uh, twinkles. I just did something like this and you just hold it down and drag it and there's just endless possibilities. This looks kind of bad because I'm doing it quickly but <laughs> you get the idea. This is the illustration that we are working with and I'm going to try to get them to maybe move around, maybe change colors. I'm not quite sure yet to be honest with you but we'll figure it out so next we're gonna move on to animating it in Photoshop okay so now that you have your gifts illustrated you're gonna go into Photoshop and you're going to create a new document make sure it's in a square format because that's what Giphy likes okay so once you have your document you're gonna go back to Illustrator and you're gonna copy and paste each little element of your gif separately into your document Okay, so once you have all of your little elements copy and pasted into your Photoshop document, you're gonna first of all delete this background because we don't want a background. Yes, I wanna delete that. Then you're going to decide what kind of movement you want your GIF to make. So I'm gonna show you three or four different movements you can do with your GIFs that are pretty simple to do. So first of all, I'm going to show you the probably the easiest one. So if I want these to twinkle, I can. Okay, so first of all, for any movement that you're going to do, you need to have this timeline at the bottom of your screen. And if you don't see that, just type in timeline here and it'll pop up at the bottom. Each frame, so you can click a new frame, each frame is a different like scene, I guess. So I'm gonna show you guys, first of all, how to make these guys like twinkle. You just turn off the layers. In this first scene, there's no pink one. And then the next one, I'm gonna make the pink one come back, but I'm gonna take away the yellow one. And then in the next scene, I'm going to make the yellow one and the pink one come back, but I'm going to take away the blue one. You can also adjust the timing. So I'm gonna make it a little longer. I don't know why I didn't do that all at once. That would've been easier, that's okay. Then once you play it, it looks like this. 
little twinklies. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to make things slide across the screen. So this one is my personal favorite. If I want this blue guy to slide across the screen, I'm going to make another frame. Then I'm going to, in the second frame, I'm selected on the second frame, I'm gonna drag him across the screen. Then I'm gonna select both of them and then press this weird little symbol. This is how many frames they're gonna add in between. So I'm gonna click 20. I've done upwards of 100. So just test it out to see what you like. So so when I do a thing sliding across the screen, I click no delay and then I'm going to play it. And then you can see it sliding across the screen. So the more frames you add, the smoother it will be. So right now it's pretty choppy. So then I could just add more frames if I wanted it to be less choppy. But you get the idea. Okay, so the next movement I'm going to show you is how to make things change color. Making things change color is kind of a huge pain, but it looks really cool in the end, so it's worth it. But what you have to do is if I want this, I don't want to keep picking on this big blue one. But if I want this blue one to change color, I'm gonna have to go back to Illustrator. I'm gonna have to select it. I'll change it to the pink color. And I have to copy it back to Photoshop, paste it. And then, so you're going to place it on top of your thing. And then you're gonna go back to Illustrator. Then I'm gonna make it yellow. And then go back into Photoshop, paste. Okay, so once you have all of your colors stacked, all the colors that you want, you're just going to create another frame and then create another frame. And then in the first frame, it's gonna be yellow. Second frame, it's gonna be pink. And then third frame, it's going to be blue. So I'm just turning off the layers, clicking this little eyeball thing. And then when I play it, it'll change color. Oh, look how fun. Okay, so the final movement that I'm gonna show you guys is how to make something rotate. So I personally think that rotating is the trickiest thing to do. It's really unfortunate because like wheels and stuff obviously want them to rotate, but it's such a big pain. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do it anyways because sometimes you just need it to rotate. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take what you want to rotate, which I want this little guy to rotate, and you're gonna drag that down to this little paper thing and that's gonna duplicate the layer. I'm gonna do that a couple times. The more times you do this, the more smooth the transition will be. I'm gonna go to each layer individually and slowly rotate it. And each one is gonna be rotated even more than the last. So you can see right here how they're all rotating. So I'm just gonna do four. Usually I would do more than this, but for the sake of illustration, I'm just gonna do four. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna create your layers as per usual and you're just going to turn them off just kind of like the what you do with the colors first I'm going to start with this guy and then the next one I'm going to turn this off and then turn on this guy and then this one I'm going to turn that off turn on this guy and then this one I'm going to turn this off turn on the top guy so then when you play it it rotates okay so you see that it rotates this way and then it snaps back. We don't want that to happen. Okay, so what you're gonna do to make it loop a little bit better is you're going to make another layer and you're gonna wanna work backwards now. So you turn this top one off, turn this bottom one on, make another layer, turn this one off, turn this one on, and then when you play it, it'll go back and forth and nice like that. So if you make even more layers, you can make it turn all the way around, but you get the idea. This is how you make it rotate. Okay, so I have decided on the color changing for this little twinkle gif. So once you're done animating your gif, you're going to go to File, Export, Save for Web, and then it says GIF here, and then you're gonna make sure that transparency is checked off, and then you're just gonna click Save. You're gonna name it, I'm gonna name mine, Twinkles, and then make sure that it says GIF at the end, and then you save it. Okay, so now that you have some GIFs made, you're ready to make a Giphy account. So you're going to go here, and you're going to go to the Giphy website, giphy.com slash join, and you're just going to enter all your information and then you're going to click sign up. Okay, so once you've made your account, you can add a little profile photo and you can also add a banner and you can add your website and your social stuff. And then 
to upload your GIFs, you just click upload and then you click browse your files and then I'm going to click on my Twinkle GIF and then for a source you can put your website I'm going to put my website or you can put like your the Instagram URL or really anything that you want people to find you at so I'm just gonna put MakailaCreates.com okay so tags this is super important this is how people are gonna find your gifts I have tagged all of mine with Makayla so that if you type in Makayla, you can see all of my gifts. So I always add that one. And then I'm going to put things in like twinkle, magic, magical, colors, really anything you can think of that relates at all to your GIF. Be creative, do as many as you can. And I would definitely suggest putting a tag, the same tag on all of your gifts so you can find all of your gifts at once. Okay, so once you're done adding all of your little hashtags, you're going to click upload to Giphy. And so since you're not yet verified, it won't pop up on Instagram just yet. First, you have to be verified either as a business or an artist. But in order to do that, you already need to have some gifts uploaded. So upload five to 10 gifts, and then you can move on to the next step, which is getting verified and and then you'll be able to see your gifts on Instagram, which is the fun part. If you have at least five gifts uploaded, you can apply to be a, a verified account. So you're gonna go to support, and then you're going to click on Giphy for brands and artists, and you can choose to either apply for an artist channel or a brand channel. An artist channel is easier. I personally did a brand channel um, because I have a website, you need a website for it, but let's just do artist channel for now, and then you can apply here, and then you're just going to fill out all of your information, and then you just click submit application. Once you do that, I would personally recommend contacting Giphy and emailing them and telling them them why you want to make gifts and why you want to be a bit verified account. I did this and I personally think that it helped speed the process up because I got a reply very quickly and I got approved very quickly. So I would do this. I obviously have nothing to prove that it worked, but I really think it does and it only takes like two seconds. So I would definitely email them telling them why you want to be verified and why you want to make gifts for Instagram. Once you do that, all you have to do is wait, which is the worst part by far. But once you uh, get accepted, you'll have to wait a little bit for your gifts to actually show up on Instagram. But once they do, it's way quicker once you upload them. Um, it'll only take a few hours once you've been approved. So yeah, anyways, before you know it, you'll be using your gifts on your stories, which is so much fun. So that's how you make gifts. Okay, so I hope this was a helpful video and that it got you excited to get your gift stickers up on Instagram and also that you learned something. And please tag me and let me know if you make gift stickers because I'm always looking for new cute ones to use on my stories. So please tag me so I can see your gift stickers. And if you have any more questions or if I left something out of the video, please don't hesitate to ask. You can either comment below or you can DM me at Makaili Creates and I'll try to help as best that I can. And yeah, that's it. Thanks guys. Bye.